my second day here in London and I'm going to meet the very lovely Deb from Wild Unfiltered today. We're going to go shopping. I will take you around the shops. I'll give you a quick look at what I'm wearing and then hopefully there is loads of good stuff for us to see. Greece last night was amazing. Peter Andre, Jason Donovan took me right back to my childhood. Being a child of the 80s, absolutely loved it. It was so much fun. But let's get out into the shops and let's hope that there are some... Do I want to be tempted? I'm not meant to be buying bags. This is my outfit of the day for our full day shopping. I have on this Ted Baker t-shirt. I have on my Ana Luisa, my Louis Vuitton, the one my husband bought me, which is also Ted Baker. I have my striped Raffaele Chanel mini with me. I absolutely love this bag. It's just so cool. And I thought the orange picked out these colors well. And the trainers, I have on these very wide leg pinstripe trousers, which I get a huge amount to wear out of. They're just so comfortable. And then I have on my very bright, very colorful, <laughs> Christian Louboutin trainers for a little bit of brightness to brighten up the grey pinstripe and hopefully they're comfortable for a full day walking around the shops and I'll show you if there's any damage done. Look who I find, it's Deb from Wild Unfiltered. Say hi everybody, Deb on the vlog. If you haven't yet, make sure I'm gonna link Deb's channel down below in the description box. Make sure you're down and subscribe. She's fabulous and has a fabulous bag collection. And she is going to try and curtail me today from my shopping. Is and that I'm right? also And she's stolen my bag. Her. What do we think, everyone? It's stunning. What do we think? Does Deb need a multicolored small crossbody mini in her life? I think she does. I think the answer is yes. But while she has stolen that, look what I've stolen, if I can show you. Look at this. Look at this black side trunk that she has in. Isn't it so cool and edgy? I will get somewhere and get a better mirror so you can actually look at this. But this is the quality of the bags in Deb's collection. They're fabulous. This one is just so... Look at that with my leather jacket. Deb, would you donate this? Of course. <laughs> well, I'll do a definite swap. <laughs> that looks well, amazing. So I'm Bond Street now and we are about to go into Fendi. I think that's going to be the first stop and I will show you as much as I can. So we have Fendi and then Chloe up in the distance. We have Louis Vuitton, Dior's up there and Chanel as well. This is in the window of Fendi. Look at the colour of that pink peekaboo and look at the leather. It's beautiful. And they have the pink baguette as well. Oh my goodness, I'm going to be in trouble in this store. It's just this colour. Oh, look at the woven. Isn't this beautiful? It will come as no surprise that I was absolutely drawn to the fuchsia released by Fendi this year. I thought the colour and the tone of the colour was absolutely stunning. This is the first year Fendi have released the sequenced baguette in the fuchsia in a mini. Previously the fuchsia only came in the regular size baguette. The mini version was so cute, it was stunning. I kept going back to it. I must have tried this bag on a hundred times. It was just so beautiful and the gold hardware I thought set it off perfectly. I also really liked the traditional zucca print. It was more drawn to the neutral colours. While I went back to the furry, I love this little Sherling mini baguette. I think this is definitely a stunner and I can see this making its way into my collection in the mini size. But this fuchsia again kept bringing me back. And here we go back to a fuchsia mini baguette, this time in the leather. This is the grey that Deb was looking at. And then there is a look around some others. This green I thought was beautiful because of the white stitching around the zucker print even though we know i had a green earlier in the year that didn't work out but this one was beautiful back to the shirling back to the sequence i keep going back to the same bags over and over they're calling my name and i just can't get them out of my head these bags in fendi i thought were absolutely stunning this is the regular sized fuchsia sequence baguette the same as the purple that i already have and i absolutely loved it i thought it was stunning fendi also had some beautiful neutral bags Look who we find! <laughs> we have Dale and Meredith! <laughs> it's crazy! In Fendi New Bond Street! <laughs> Hi! Oh my goodness, and we've been running around this shop and have nearly knocked people down, and it's just been. It's crazy! <laughs> That's the look. That is the look. <laughs> Dear, what do you think? Oh, look. Look, can I find? Considering I suggested it, I, I, I feel like it's a bad. <laughs> 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 can I 
hashtag just you know. Hashtag deals fan day. <laughs> oh, yes. And then the bag. All the pinks. Back to Meredith's question. What do you call a gaggle channel? Fabulousness. Hi. <laughs> Some non fuchsia. This Fendi peekaboo in the Sherling is absolutely stunning. They had a really good range of peekaboos in quite a number of colours. They also had exotics on display that you could see. I fell in love with these Fendi first boots. There are two heights. This is the higher height I'm trying on. There's also a lower one, but I thought they were stunning. And this baguette was very special. This was the Zucca print, but with the additions hanging from it to make it a little bit more of an exclusive, I thought it was beautiful but these boots really had me. I thought they were stunning and could really make an outfit. I then had a look at some of the other baguettes. There's the multicolor in the more tonal colors and other sequins color. Had a huge range of peekaboos in so many different options colors, leathers, exotics, more than I have ever seen in store. I was really taken with this Marc Jacobs black and white. I thought the contrast on this mini baguette was stunning. This didn't look like much online, but when I tried this on, I fell in love with this bag. I thought this black and white just completely stood out with no matter what I tried it on with. You can change the length to double it up to put it on your shoulder. You can shorten it. Absolutely beautiful. Love these capes. Had to try one of these. I thought this would be such a staple piece for autumn. Very very stunning, makes you look very put together. I felt very put together in it. Really, really loved this piece. Then the Fendagraphy bags in the black and the pink, thought they were beautiful. And again, look at the range of these different woven and exotic peekaboos, and then these exotic Fendi firsts. There was so much to see in the new Bond Street store, and they were fabulous. What do we think, Deb? Can we remind everybody I'm on a bag bag man? Not buying any bags. <laughs> <laughs> Fendi's fault. <laughs> oh dear, what happened? After the fun in Fendi, we headed to Dior, which had so many beautiful bags to see. I really loved the patent in the Lady Dior and also the sequenced in the D-Joy, as well as the floral version of the Lady Dior. I thought those bags were very, very striking. Always loved the saddle bag. This is the new installation that's in place in Dior on New Bond Street. An artist completed this for Dior. It was made and imagined out of past catwalk runway shows from Dior and they called on the fabrics and the materials previously used to put this together and install it in the new Bond Street store. It's supposed to invoke in whoever is looking at it something different. We're all meant to see and take something different from this but it's definitely a very striking piece to add to the store. Back to the bags, they had such a collection of micros and minis in both the saddle and also the Lady Dior as well as full-sized versions. I do love the saddle bag, I could see me collecting these. This is the new 9522 bag. It's very heavy and quite expensive. This kind of gave me freaky China doll vibes, although I did appreciate some of these limited edition special Lady Dior bags. Some of them I did think was stunning. The Caro bag I think is beautiful in the denim. I've never went for one until this one. I thought this was beautiful. I thought it was very fun and unique and unusual with the pink. It did remind me of my granny's old sofa, but I thought it was really cool. Also really loved the versions of the green sparkle and the jade green here. I thought these were beautiful in the D-Joy and the, also in the Lady Dior. This would be maybe the first bag that's really made me consider a D-Joy. <laughs> this is the fabulous Josh from the New Bond Street store modeling the new Tajores bag along with the Dior pleated coat and the glasses and the umbrella. He is working that bag. The saddle bag in the street map of Paris was absolutely stunning. This saddle bag I could absolutely bring home with me. I thought the grey, more neutral for my wardrobe, absolutely for me beautiful. Deb. So, I, this is I love it. No idea what this print is. It's the Paris street street oh, signs, okay, street yeah. map. It's beautiful. The colour's gorgeous. It is, it's gorgeous. Love it. Again, the very popular new to your bags. Those are very, very popular and selling out very, very quickly. 
Look at those beautiful prints. I just love them. And I can never beat Dior trainers. I love their footwear. I think they're fabulous. Taking another look at those burgundies because I was struggling to go past them. And again, I really liked this print in the D-Joy. It's in the Lady Dior as well, which is beautiful, but the D-Joy really had my attention. Some fabulous, fabulous bags. So that was vlog one. That was Fendi and Dior. And there was also guest appearances from the lovely Deb from Wild Unfiltered, Deal from Deal's Addiction and Meredith from Living Lux with Meredith. And spoiler alert, all of those lovely ladies will show up in vlog two, as well as a number of other fabulous YouTubers who came along for the meetup. It was amazing. I, I'm not often lost for words, but to try and explain that weekend and how natural it was and how much fun it was and how everyone was so genuine and there was no, no, it was just amazing. I am so blessed to have been there and it was such a great time. So make sure you stay subscribed for vlog number two and that will be more luxury shopping in London. It will be a lot of Louis Vuitton footage. There is Louis Vuitton vlog footage over the course of two days. There's the bags, the store, there's also the VIP suite. That's that's going to be fun. And then there's more Fendi footage and there's the YouTuber meetup. There is great fun footage with all of your favourites and there's footage on the Sunday when we're maybe a little bit delicate but stay tuned for it it really is a lot of fun thank you so much for watching this one if you have enjoyed it in any way please do consider giving it a thumbs up if you haven't yet please do consider subscribing and if you're not done with me yet I'm going to leave another video for you on the screen to enjoy thank you so much for being here thank you for watching me please take care and I will see you again in the next vlog